Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. JC here with another video on Action Timing. Today we're gonna check the update, or perhaps the last, the lack of it. So let's check what's happening here. So today uh, we didn't receive an update, a hard update, one of those which downloads data and has the maintenance. We received a soft update which unlocked uh, this, Koharu's New Year fashion show. So uh, we're going to discuss first, uh, before we check all the things, what are the implications? Some some strange things have been happening as of late. Uh, for example, I don't remember if it, if it was last week or the week before that, that our weekend missions were replaced. Instead of getting uh, gacha coins, like we usually do, do we got um, this material, this one. We got core module high. Uh, I mean, I hope that's not uh, something that they repeat. I prefer the gacha coins over this. I get that they want to help the people who are still working on the special activities, on the, the facilities, but it is not ideal to sacrifice um, coins just for that. They, they can just add the modules here on these kind of missions throughout the weeks uh, for those who are still missing the, the, the facilities. So and that's one thing. Uh, another thing, this is, I don't remember if this is the first time, maybe it's not, but it is very unusual for Gremory to go three weeks without a hard update. So I hope that this doesn't become the norm, but it could be possible because now that we are like, um, how many? Three? Yeah. Uh, three or four years into the game. Obviously, there they have a lot of content that they want to repeat. Unlike other gachas, which, uh, which uh, have content that gets outdated this this gacha also has content that get outdated but for example it it uh, revolves heavily around the the customs and the skins and everything that you can get so obviously they want to repeat that for new newer players um, but i think that i want them to continue doing content to continue doing more events to continue improving the, the facilities, to add modes and such. And I don't want them to, to stop, so I, I don't like that they didn't do a hard update. But the, the big event is going to be Valentine's Day, and we're just about to start the month of February, so I get why they didn't do the update just yet. Maybe just a one-time thing, maybe it's going to be the new norm, I hope that it isn't, but uh, now let's go to... To what the update brought. So uh, it brought Koharu's New Year fashion show, which is paid content. Uh, here you have a pack which gives you, uh, huh, no, no, that's not the button. This one, this is the button. It gives you um, these skins. It's three skins, and uh, the value is actually pretty good for three skins compared to this one, which is. Uh, 31, 32 dollars. Uh, this one is going to be only 24, and it gives you three skins. I don't remember if these were limited, uh, or were golden pass. There's a reason why I didn't get this one. Uh, perhaps because I didn't have Yuki at the time. Maybe I don't remember. So, yeah, uh. Grammar says this is the actual worth of this, the actual value is $80, which it isn't. <laughs> but um, 23 is actually acceptable for three skin in in my three skins in my opinion, but um, I won't buy it. And I suggest you don't, because there's probably better things coming in the future. Uh, besides, if you want good value, I suggest you go for this. This is way better. Uh, then we also have this button that uh, take us to the other section, the fashion lucky pouch. This is a paid gacha, uh, terrible, but it is 
a paid gacha, you have five rolls at most. It's four dollars and you're going to get customs. Uh, let's check them super, super quickly. New Year Asagi, New Year Sakura, New Year Yukikase, which all of them come in the pack. But if you get them, they give you more gems. That's the good thing. And they have a higher drop rate. So that's okay. That's good, I guess. And then we have Witch, uh, Witch Asagi, uh, Christmas Asagi number one, Bride Asagi, Christmas Asagi number two, uh, Time Animal Asagi, um, Halloween Sakura, uh, Halloween Sakura, uh, Christmas Sakura number one, uh, Sakura Sakura, <laughs> um, Summer Sakura, Oni Sakura, uh, Time Animal Sakura, um, what's the name? I oh, am, yeah, um, Yukikase, Yukikase Halloween, uh, Yukikase Christmas, Yukikase Sakura, and Yukikase Summer. So we have a bunch of skins, but if you notice, you're going to get uh, 350 gems if you already have the skin. So this is not worth it. Uh, there's many disadvantages on this. Uh, Grimory, think on it. Uh, this is like... Not a good way to convince people to invest money on the game. So, uh, number one, the pricing is uh, $4. And you can get much more value, uh, gem-wise, in other packs, like the character level up packs. So, that's one thing. Another important thing is that all of these skins, uh, if I'm not mistaken, you can get them on their corresponding season. Unless they stop rerunning skins, which I don't think they will. And besides, you can get them for free with the gems. Just uh, saving gems, you can do that. So it is not ideal that you spend your money here. If you do, and you uh, roll the five times, you're going to get a ticket that gives you either 500 gems or one of the, of the customs. Uh, in my case, I'm not going to roll for this. I have most of them. Not all of them, but I have most of the skins. Um, we also have this. Mm, as usual, not worth it. I really like this skin and I don't have it. But I'm not buying it here. Definitely not. Um, let's see. What else? Uh, new, new, new. In the store, you'll notice that there are no skins here other than... Uh, the New Year skins for uh, Saika and Spinel. But soon enough, we are going to get more skins. We're going to get the Oni skins. Astaroth, uh, these are going to arrive next week, I think. And they, they did the announcement. So who has Oni skins? Uh, I don't know if she does. Oddly enough, she doesn't, even though she's an Oni, I think. So, uh, Astrod has an Oni skin. Um, Kurenai has an Oni skin. Uh, she, uh, Shiranui has an Oni skin. Sakura has an Oni skin. Uh, where is... Oh! Asuka has an Oni skin. One of my favorite, and one I didn't get because it was uh, Desire. So, yeah, that's unfortunately... Uh, the case and I'm probably not going to get it if they release it on on a pack just like Murasaki. I hope that they release it in another way or with a good pack. Uh, let's see. Uh, Noah. Yeah, Noah has this skin. Uh, who else? Sue has this skin. So yeah, th there's a bunch of characters who has these only skins. Uh, they are pretty good. I like them. And you, I think that after that, because it's going to be Valentine's the week after the update, if they do a, a hard update, assuming they do, uh, we're going to get Valentine. And for Valentine, they're definitely adding the bright skins again. I mean, it is thematic. And there's a chance that we get some kind of pack because there's a bunch. And I mean, a bunch of characters who have bright skins. 
So uh, I think she sui an Aina. No, this was Aina's Aina's character release. So uh, she sui. If I'm not mistaken, she she uh, needs this one to be. Uh, this one was um, desire, and Shiranui. Shiranui was also desire for Bride. I mean, originally a long, long time ago. So, or should I say, Gacha <laughs> rather than desire? So, uh, there's a bunch, a huge amount of these. So obviously they're going to try to monetize them. It, it would be very difficult for people to get all of the bright skins. So what we're gonna probably see is that they're going to uh, release a pack for this. And they may, they might give us like one or two tickets for, for these skins. So that we get some of them. And as you can see, there are some characters like Astrod, Eleanor, um, Momochi, who still need the the um, their bright skins. And uh, now that I think about it, Rin is another character who got desired for this skin. So yeah, um, save your gems if you want those, because uh, this month is this month of February is going to be very heavy on that regard. And besides, after that, we're going to get the the new character, Lina. Keep that in mind. Probably also releasing around the time of uh, um, Valentine, for sure, because they already announced her. So, what else? What else? Uh, yeah, the, the campaigns. The campaigns. So... Very important, the campaigns. Uh, we have extra item drop. And let's talk about extra item drop because this is one of those two campaigns that you want to to have if you're going to farm. So there are two kinds of campaigns that give you a ton of value. One is going to be a half cost AP for daily quests or for any, any kind of quest that you want to farm. Oops. So... Uh, the half cost is going to give you double the, the value because you're doing the double double the runs. So you got double the chances to proc your extra drops. On the other hand, we have item drop rate up. This is going to give you 1.5 value because the cost is the same, but you get extra drops on this. So it is good but it is not the best value uh, for you. Uh, last week we had half AP cost, so it was ideal to farm then. And now it is still good, but it isn't as good. If you want to go super optimal, uh, save your potions for uh, half AP cost. And if you don't care, then you can farm now. But there's something else that we should mention about this. And it's that the secret quest give you more value on this campaign than they do on half cost uh, AP campaign because you have limited runs and you can use the tickets right now to do more runs and in turn get more materials. So use your tickets because you're going to get extra drops thanks to the campaign. Uh, it would be okay to use your items such as the Heavy Shika Potion, the Heavy Shika Pack, or the Talisman of Wealth. I cannot talk about the Talisman of Wealth because I haven't used it. I don't know exactly how it works. If you're receiving bonus effect from he either Heavy Shikas, uh, the above effect does not apply. Oh, okay, okay. So it is um, it is uh, the extra drops of Heavy Shika, the Talisman, I see. Very dumb, but okay. So um, you can use the talisman, you can use heavy shika, you can use the <laughs> the potion for heavy shika, um, and that's going to increase your amount of materials that you get from the secret quest. This is a good moment to use them. I'm not going to use them uh, just yet because I'm still uh, waiting for a better campaign. 
And besides, uh, I already maxed out many, many things. In fact, as weird as it sounds, I'm actually working on the crit rate Magatamas. I'm just missing like that, a couple HP Magatamas, and the damage to all enemies Magatamas. Which, the damage of to all enemies are the, the least of my priorities, because I have already damage against everyone else. So... Uh, other than that, ah yeah, to finish, we have to talk about the login bonus. We just finished the login bonus, the 300 day login bonus. And there hasn't been anything new about the login bonus. So what could happen with that? Uh, for those who don't know, there was a campaign that if you log in for 300 days, you will get various rewards. Among them, one of the most important ones at the very beginning was Mercy, which is excellent. And you got the the small nano machines. Uh, do I have some? These ones. You get nano machine SR to actually level her up. Uh, to uh, I mean, level her. Give her more more copies. You know what I mean. So it was meant to be five out of five. I have another one because I got my original one and then the one that they gave us that I made it red. So yeah. Uh, and also the last reward that they gave us was this one. The six star advancing pass. That was the last thing they gave on the on the login. And this uh, makes it super weird. I hope that they are planning to do the next uh, login because I think they they need to do this like permanent. It's not like just uh, play for a, a a whole year and we'll give you a as a, some benefits, some items that are going to help your account. No, no, no. They should do this like permanent. This should be like every month. So that's why I thought it was super weird that it was only 300 days instead of a whole year. So uh, what could happen right now with this? They could just give us the new one on the next update. They could just reapply the old one, which I would hate that, on the next update. They could not apply a new login bonus for the whole year until um, in one or two months uh, consider that uh, it was 50 days that were missing from from the whole year so maybe they're gonna wait that long i don't know or maybe they're not gonna apply anything which they, they definitely should uh, add another login a different login uh, where they give us more things and they need to add more tickets for um, for supporters so that we can uh, complete our our all supporters and maybe get some all supporters that for some dumb dumb reason we uh, we dismantle or we burn we need more <laughs> I burned mine. I burned my other Susuna, which was a terrible decision. So, yeah, Gremory, do make the other, the other login bonus. We do need that. It is pretty good, pretty useful. Uh, another thing to take into consideration, guys, probably on Valentine's Day, you want to use your Doki Doki presents and all your materials. Uh, you want to save them. Um... Because usually they give you double points. Ah, affinity. Now that I mention affinity, uh, we have extra affinity on daily quest. It says intimacy points up, so you can farm your supporters and unlock their their uh, their affinity scene. Uh, Grammarly, delete the yellow letters. So we don't need the daily quest part. I get that we farm mostly on dailies, uh, but there's no benefit on restricting where we get the the effects of the campaign. You should just leave it as 
intimacy points gain up. Definitely, there's no reason for you to just limit us to to do this on on daily quests. Maybe there's someone who who left the event for the very end and they're going to farm everything at the end and they're not going to get the benefit of this campaign because of that. Maybe they wanted to do that with Emily because it is super easy to farm with Emily. So yeah, we also have daily quest missions, uh, which give you more sushi, which gives you IP. Uh, probably there's other rewards, but I haven't redeemed them just yet. So uh, that's a thing to take into consideration. Uh, that's going to be it for today. It's not going to be super extensive. I hope it wasn't super extensive, but there's things that we need to take into consideration. I hope that the um, the three weeks of no hard update don't become the norm. I know that they can repeat content. Uh, there's a ton of things they could, but I really like the idea that they uh, add more things, that they update the facilities, that they add new content, that they rework the shops. Uh, ooh, wait a moment. Mm, not yet. I want to buy those. I will. Yeah, I need them. So, yeah. And we don't have any events here. Uh, uh, just to finish, guys, because I forgot. Uh, because I have to re-record re this. Uh, be sure to roll on this if you can. I mean... Uh, even if you get one copy of this, it is super, super good. The poison, you would think that is not good, but some characters are uh, have really easy ways to debuff the enemy and you get a ton, a ton, a ton of benefit from inflicting poison, almost perma poison. So uh, it is really, really good. And the main effect, this one, the one up that alternates between damage and damage reduction, is not that bad, it's actually pretty good. So yeah, maybe you want this. I, I'm lately using this on a ton of builds and I'm trying out Felicia for a video that's coming on in the future. And she is disgustingly good with this supporter. So keep this in mind, maybe you want to roll on it. If you don't have the resources, well, don't worry. There's gonna be a repeat for this, There's all, there always is. So, but but keep an eye on this one. So. That's going to be it for today, and I'll be seeing you next time. Bye!